but the title of it is A Psalm of Fearless Trust in God. And I know that, you know, the writers and the publishers put that in there, but it's really fitting. Um, And, you know, on Tuesday, Brett was teaching Bible study, and he opened up the Word, and he really just, he read. But I thought, that is so important, because truly, he can put his thoughts in there, and I can put my thoughts in there, but the Holy Spirit is the best teacher. And when you open up God's Word, he'll speak to you. Uh, The man that's giving it doesn't have to say anything. So I want to do that. I want to read Psalm 27, and I just want you guys to kind of meditate on what God means to you in your life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Who shall I dread? When evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries, my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamps against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rises against me, in spite of this, I shall be confident. One thing I have asked from the Lord, that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, to meditate in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will conceal me in his tabernacle. In the secret place of his tent he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Be gracious to me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, O Lord, I shall seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me or forsake me, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a level path. Because of my foes, do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me, and such have breathed out violence. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's worship him this morning. You are 
the great King of glory, seated on high in the heavens, oh, Jesus, you alone. You are the Lord God Almighty, strong in compassion and mercy, oh. Jesus, you alone. I searched the world for a love that could fill my heart, but nothing compares to the wonder of who. Just 
Oh. 
God, we surrender our hearts to you, Lord. We surrender all of our desires, all of our dreams, Lord. We surrender all of our plans, all of our ways. Lord, your ways are higher. Your thoughts are higher. You are sovereign over us, Lord, so help us to trust let every moment that we live, every moment that we're awake, glorify you, Lord. We live to honor you, Lord. Lord, I ask that this service would glorify you, that every word that's spoken here would be spoken in truth, that it would be Holy Spirit inspired and Holy Spirit directed, and that we would surrender to your perfect ways, Lord. It's in the name of Jesus I ask. I thank you for all of these brothers and sisters today, Lord. I thank you for every heart in this room, Lord. Would you have your way here and come and do what only you can do, Lord? We are not able. Thank you so much for who you are, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name I ask. Amen.